Okay guys, it's another update. And if you haven't noticed the elephant in the screen, we now have all the channels on planet Tomino. I haven't decided to call it that, I'm just being funny. So basically, yeah, uh, using the shape generator, I built a 180, I don't know what it is, a large diameter satellite dish out of the crystal, like the blue circuit boards and then the blue crystal circuits. Whoa, gravity well. And uh, it's actually a station which is just above the planet, but because of the angle at which the station is, it makes it look like it's a, well, an impossible angle, basically. If you go up and look at it, it's totally out of whack. Right. How the hell did he build it like that? And of course, it's actually a station. And it clips through in just the right places. So if we take it around to the front, So it's like deep space radar. Yeah! Deep space radar. And like I say, it took about five minutes using the new shape generator and snap two, because it'll lock you into the shape. So there you go. And I've still got all the buildings underneath it to do and a new building which I haven't yet figured out because I want to make another building to go on there but it's looking pretty nice at the moment so I don't want to overdo it and then we can think about putting some uh, you know roads through ah wait what why is there just a hole oh oh I think this is Dalmont's Spoilers! Oh no, it's water! Ah, oh, I'm drowning! Ah! Ah! Escape! Still haven't found the other plate yet. But then there are 12 of them. Oh no! We're gonna crash! Huh. Oh, there he is. I bet he's right next to me. Yeah. <laughs> he's basically right next to me. So, yeah. Got plus nine as well. This building. The labs. Super labs. Storage areas. I guess this is going to be radar control now, because, well, it's kind of got to be, really. I'm guessing this is going to be your uh, main habitation area and stuff, just because there's so much of it all packed in. I don't know what you'd call layers down here. Tool shed? <laughs> Hello, bud. Hello. Have you seen this door? That's good. Look at it from this side. <laughs> oh damn. Yeah, just for everyone else. <laughs> it totally doesn't look like you think it's gonna look on the other side. Oops, I get crashed. My inspiration was Arctic bases when I made the first one. Oh. And then I kind of mashed them together using symmetry or expanded them out and then I just took the glitches because it was all fully wedged pretty much all I had to do was remove the bits that overlapped where they shouldn't and then I just got this modular all the buildings are the same but but they're all different and then I made these little connecting pieces to attach them because pretty much what they do they, they ship out container sized buildings yeah. And then they just kind of lash them together. It's like the um, 
modular pods they NASA have that yeah. they want to start putting on the moon and yeah Mars yeah and yeah stuff. yeah exactly exactly like that and I'm what? guessing a bit of furniture so a bit of furniture and like you know decoration and that'll pretty much make the space yeah and what with the ability to save different copies mm. and pastes it just makes this type of thing really easy oh god yeah it's like taking it's like, there's so many different concepts here as well like this has got no exterior doors because of the way it's been put together if I go over to the other one that one up on the top here this one's a fun this one's fun this one's got doors at both ends you know so it's basically the same but slightly sp spread apart so it's a bit wider yeah. and look at this this thing here <laughs> It's like some kind of, I don't know, know what it is. <laughs> but you can't, but you can't even go anywhere that way. You've got to go in the other side. So it could be like a containment area, you know? Yeah. But if you come in this side, and go through this, it's the only way to connect them. And then we got one of these. Oh, it's like a containment area, I guess. Like, yep. Because the yellow light. <laughs> and you can like, open this door, put the food down, and open that door. Yeah. There's so many things it could be for. Yeah. Could be motorbike storage. Just make this this door bigger. To let them out. Yeah. And then uh, down below we've got. Huh? all the different storage areas but the fun ones are the first two because in the first two you can see like there's mining going on and like especially in the first one here if you go uh -huh. if you go to the back you can see like there's a might there's mining going on you know like there's a tunnel back there you can just about see it like but it's totally oh, should have made those doors but it's totally yeah, inaccessible. Nah, mate, it's toxic gases. We had to block that's it what off. Doing. That's why yeah. they're green. Yeah, man, we had to block it off, mate. It's toxic. Why <laughs> oh, we have helmets? Yeah, it's all good, though, man. We got the height. We got the uh, artificial uh, uh, atmosphere running, you know. Oh, so you gotta be careful though, with the rocket boots that might light it on. That's fire. right. You gotta contain the leak. So. That's why you can't go in there. And then this was the last one I made. So this one's a little bit more look aroundy. Like it's got a fancy way of getting in, I guess. Kinda looks like it would slide in. When you go in, shuts behind you. Bing. And then which way do you want to go? These are offices. So we'll go left. Right, in here we've got the first office. Yeah? with a corridor which people can see what's going on inside and look a private office oh super private you in know here be, you know be really neat Tom yeah is it on top of that you did like the, don't they have a tinted glass now yeah they I'm using it if you look all around I'm using two yeah. colors of glass everywhere yeah, I said, like the, the really dark tint for the windows that oh yeah the tint this window off so it's like a dark yeah I know what you're saying now but I get it this room here is the office yeah and this is a little ensuite yeah right so you put the tint on I so like it to conduct his business exactly while conducting Oop. business and then if we go through this side it's just a larger space you know so like a lobby area I guess and then here oh sorry here we've got an observation corridor which you can just you can look out of this side and see the labs make sure could, make sure they're all working you know you could split this observation thing in half down the middle but this half another office and on the other half an office and then the big room a sweatshop so you've got management <laughs> and all the workers I see your working I see your management style <laughs> get the sweatshop in there you're funny but yeah, the real challenge is going to be the big one, mate. The big one over here. Because if you see what they look like before I change anything, you'll see what I'm talking about. 
before you go in there and do anything to it because I just basically slapped it down with overlapping symmetry to make it different shapes. Look at what happens when you look, you just get this crazy mad mad overlapping of rooms. Just come out of here and go into the next door and you'll see what I mean. It's like so like different you get a different Oh god I fell down a hole. Okay I'm out. Look at this. <laughs> do you know what I mean? It's it's like crazy Oops. it's like crazy corridors. You know? Hmm, hell yeah. Even though it's just the whoopsies. Well that's what I'm saying, it's like in a way you're like, oh what do I do with the room? And you know, what shape does it be? And it's sort of like this tells me what to do with it, you know? So I'm yeah. thinking I'm gonna knock this wall. It's brilliant though, you didn't look talking like a builder. Well, we're gonna knock this window with this window down, put the wall through, extend it out into double on suite, yeah? How are those lint bearing supports up there? <laughs> Ah, we got lintels, mate. Lintels coming on the track tomorrow. <laughs> it's good. I love it. It's so funny. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> That's meta right there. Emerging gameplay, lads. So I'm just going to jump up here. But what I was really happy with was the way that the station just clips through the planet. You know, it, it won't let you build, but but it but it. Because I was thinking, ah, oh, I could just, because of the angle that the, that this that this is at, yeah. It was really easy to like just have something. Because let's see. Okay, so that's how you did it. It's a station, yeah. Like the the main beam that's supporting it is um, going downwards because this planet plate is actually on 45 degrees yeah, relative okay. to up, so galactic up is actually the way that the dish is pointing which i think is yeah. kind of cool because that's do you know what i mean <laughs> it's a deep yeah, space honestly, radar the, dude the planet express ship is in line with the planet too yeah so, and yeah. Okay, and then well. just built i just built off the side of it and look how lucky i got man yeah no that looks really good i yeah. just got lucky that the beam wasn't going through one of my buildings already i'll be honest <laughs> i was looking at it going please don't go through one of my buildings But oh, yeah, and this this thing, I know it's a bit rough, but guys, I, I literally, I was like, yeah, I'm going to do it. And, and I did it, and wow, it was like, I didn't think it would be that easy with the lock on, but it really is. So, and there's loads more of these. You can see what some of them look like when you don't clean them out. Like over here, I think, is it this one? Yeah, look, it's still got bits of the terrain in it from where I pasted it. I kind of like the way it looks because you can kind of like get to mine it out now. Well, I was thinking maybe this could be rock and sand storage, and I'll just tidy up all around it and leave yeah. the leave the pile. And maybe I just put a sign outside. Oh, what? Where's the sign? Put, no, put a sign outside saying rock and sand storage. Oh yeah, or I could say it collapsed. Mm, no, it, it, it breached. It breached. We don't use that one anymore. The lights are all off. You know that kind of thing. You know, there was a landslide, dude. Now it's haunted. <laughs>